Um, I think when you realise, which I did extremely early on, that I wasn't going to be an actor, and I realised extremely early on that I wasn't going to be a director, I thought producing was the next best thing. And producing is about uh, just aligning yourself really close to talent. And if you can do that and sort of live in their slipstream while helping them at the same time, I think it's a good place to be. And I think also with producing, you can be in a way master of your destiny in as much as you can create material, you can link up writers with directors, you can look at the landscape of what's happening in the world. I think often the entertainment in industry or people within it uh, suffer from having a kind of passive role. And I think the more active you can be, it's rewarding and there's a degree of self-determination as well. I think what a producer does at his or her best is just make sure that everyone's on the same page, that everyone's in alignment, that we're all pulling in the same direction, that we're all gathering around one project uh, with one kind of singular vision. And I think the producer is there just to make sure that it kind of keeps its shape and you're there to support challenge where necessary in order to achieve the kind of the, the goal of the project. I think content's everything, I've always felt that. That you know if you've got great content then everything else will flow from that. So if you've got a great script, therefore chances are you've got a good writer, good director, and from that you will attach talent and from that you will attach finance. That is the the kind of the linear line. Start with great material, be passionate about that material find the talent and then the money will come. There are extraordinary qualities that actors bring to the screen but I think it's also unfathomable sometimes. I make a point when we're casting never to be in the room because often there's a chemistry in the room which is quite seductive and quite beguiling and I always want to see it on tape because if it's not there on screen I, I don't think it'll ever really transfer to the bigger screen or to, to our sort of set. It's extraordinary, there are some actors who are mere mortals in the, in the real world, but put them in front of a camera, that there is something extraordinary happens. And it's not always easy to work out why that is. I think being on set is, it's quite an interesting chemistry on set. You know, you've got lots of little groups and what you hope is everyone comes together. And you've got focal points, if the director is obviously one, but the, the actors and the lead actors are another. And I think they set the tone. You know, when we had Maggie Gyllenhaal in The Honourable Woman, she really set the tone. She put her arms around, metaphorically, the entire cast and sort of led from the front. And, uh, but, but I think at the same time, it's also important that they are their own person and that they aren't homogenised into some kind of consensual team effort. So I think it's a, an ability to be, to be there, to be a leader, to be amongst the group, but also to be themselves and be an individual and protect the performance that they're going to provide as well. I think if you want to be an actor, just make sure you really want to be an actor. I mean, I think it's a very, very tough profession. Be the smartest actor you can be. Uh, so have other interests because th that intelligence will often make its way into your performance. You know, have other avenues that you want to explore. And I, th I think that actors that are also writers uh, really does one informs the other. Obviously, if you have a passion, follow it. Make sure it is a passion and that you, because you, it's a long journey and uh, not everyone succeeds. But those who do, I'm sure, have a great time. Uh, well, being a producer, running uh, our own company, Drama Republic, we've got lots of stories that we want to tell. Uh, but right now we are doing a YA, show, a YA show for Netflix, which is really exciting, first time we've ever done that. Alongside that, we are working, you know, again with Hugo Blake, who we love, and he, as ever, is taking himself and therefore us into a new territory, which is exciting. Uh, we want to work with sort of talent that excites us and that we feel that we can make a contribution to whatever it is they're producing. Thank you.